SICARE, Covid Channel Area Response Exchange, est un projet interreg du programme France Manche Angleterre. Il est doté d'un budget total de 6,7 millions d'euros pour la relance post-Covid, garantissant un soutien aux entreprises et aux personnes à risque d'exclusion des deux côtés de la Manche. Ce projet multivolet encourage les sept organisations partenaires à examiner les bonnes pratiques et à en tirer des leçons pour façonner et mettre en œuvre des mesures d'intervention et de rétablissement afin d'atténuer les répercussions de la pandémie. SICAIR propose un soutien aux personnes via des formations professionnelles, l'apprentissage et l'inclusion numérique. Des conseils, des bons et des subventions soutiennent les entreprises, notamment dans les secteurs les plus durement touchés par la pandémie. Ce soutien leur permettra d'élaborer de nouveaux modèles d'entreprise afin de s'adapter au changement du marché et assurer une reprise économique verte, inclusive et durable. Le projet SICAIR élabore également de nouveaux programmes concernant le futur des centres-villes afin d'améliorer les perspectives sur le long terme pour des entreprises et lutter de manière innovante contre l'exclusion sociale. Les films suivants montrent comment le projet SICAIR peut faire toute la différence. Hello, right. right, James. How you doing, you right, mate? Good I'm to good. see you. Yeah, you too. I'm being a pain. Can okay. you help me carry out some food parcels into our larder? Yeah, no worries. Plenty of time. Brilliant. I'm James, a community lead coordinator for Skills Launch Pad Plymouth, which is part of the Sea Care project. So we'll have about 80 to 100 families probably today coming in. They pay three quid for 15 items, and okay. they get their veg. Hi, my name's Mark, and you're in the Whitley Hub, which is in the north of Plymouth, and it's the home of Four Greens Community Trust and Wellbeing Hub. The day we've been successful is the day when we don't need to do it anymore, yeah. you know? We're a community hub, so we have lots of different activities going on, so you can see the food hub here. We have exercise classes, we have education classes, we have family and parent courses. Two more to go, James, I think. Yeah. Okay, okay, and that's it. Four Greens Community Trust run a wellbeing hub that's part of my Skills in the Community working group. So often members of the community will come into Four Greens. Good morning. Sometimes for other support like food, um, but if they're looking for other help to help them progress in their lives. Can I come in please? Do you use your room please to do my job search? Someone like Chris for example, then and I'd be able to come in, have a coffee, have a chat and see how we could help. Hey Chris, thanks for coming in to chat again today. I know it's been a couple of weeks since we caught up. Um, yep. We had a look about your CV and stuff like that. What's next for you? So you've got a couple of things coming up next week. I've got a few appointments in the job centre next week. The seven and a half time driving yeah. one. Yeah. When someone like Chris might come into Four Greens and if skills training or work comes up as part of the conversation, Mark can then signpost them to Skills Launch Pad Plymouth um, and I'm able to come out to Four Greens to be able to have that chat. You mentioned about um, possibly Babcock or forklifts. You've, you've done driving before, haven't you? I love to get back and driving work if I can. Yeah. And I've done food delivery work yeah. before. A lot of people can't make it into the city centre, which is where our location is based. We serve four neighbourhoods, which is Honnick, Knoll, Ernest, Settle, Whitley and Manison. It's over 30,000 people within those communities. So to have a safe space where they feel they can come, they can use the Wi-Fi, they can have a cup of coffee and they can be introduced to services like Skills Launch Pad Plymouth. It's great. It makes you feel incredibly proud that something as simple as bringing people together can absolutely transform lives. People who might be struggling with finances, might be struggling losing their house, struggling with their mental health, being able to connect with them and to help them with their next steps is really important. Thank you for all the help and funding that you might give me. You're welcome. Appreciate it.